What's up guys, Kyle of PA Outdoor Ad here bringing you another video. Uh, I am trying to do daily or every other day videos for you guys. Uh, I'm trying to get more content out there. I have the old beauty, the trailer full of the decoys. Um, going to show you how I have my trailer set up and why. Um, so let's dive into it. But guys, this year I actually sold most of my Canadians and I switched to the Avian Nexus. Uh, I will actually uh, post that link in the video so you can go watch my Avian X uh, decoy review. But anyways, um, I'm going to get more goose decoys. This is just how I have it set up for now. Um, but basically all I have is it's a 6x10. Um, it's about uh, six, 6 foot inside. So it's pretty good room. Um, so what I have is I have all of my snows hanging up on the side. All my full body snows hanging up on the side, as you can see. And then I have shells, the GHC TNT shells in the back. What that does is it maximizes all of the room in the trailer that you can get. Um, because if you look at trailers, most of the people will just, just chuck them in. Uh, with that, depending on how you have it set up, it actually slopes. It slopes down, and you meant you're, you're not getting all that top space. So what I did was I hung all these around here, and some up there. And the good thing about doing that is, as you hang those up, you still have that space to put some up there. Um, I'll show you what I mean up in the close up and everything like that. This junction right here is gonna be all my Canadians. Uh, the good thing about this, have them having the snows up like that, you can stack the Canadians, which is nice. And then on the side. On this side here, I have my blind, I have another blind, and I have all the stakes for the snows in the side here. And I have the sled for when I haul my decoys into the field, depending what kind of field it is. But um, basically, it's it's simple. It's a simple design. It, it's gonna it's going to work. It's actually my very first time hooking it up like this because my last trailer I had it as just throw them in, but then I had um pieces of wood on the side and it had slots cut in them and it had PVC piped into the slots so that you can like put like two in stack the decoys put two more in stack them so you're maximizing that whole height that's another good idea this is with this route because I think it's gonna be nicer so that's the reason um, it's a lot more organized than just throwing them in what I'll do guys is I'll actually take you in the trailer and I will show you how I have it set up um, I just did this just so you guys can see it, but I will actually take you in and show you more like in depth. Alright guys, so let's go see. Hey guys, I'm in the trailer right now. As you can see, I'm, I'm about 5'7", so I'm like almost touching. So it's about 5'9", it's 5'10", about 6'. About um, that just gives you an estimate of how your trailer is compared to mine. So if you want to do this, you can. Alright guys, see as you see in the back here, sorry, it's, it's kind of packed. Um, I have my G sheet TNT shells all stuffed in the back there. What I do is I actually have the loops in them, just like everyone else. They just drill the hole right through the tail, and then it just attaches the rope through the tail, and you can put it on one of these guys. What that does is it gives you um, gives you an advantage of sending more decoys out in the field and taking less trips. Which is nice because when you're carrying about a couple hundred decoys, it saves time. I have just um, a hook connected to this wall mount. And I have another one of these guys connected to... I have about six decoys on one of these things. Um, so basically all you do is just grab this, just pull it right off. And you can six decoys out. You can get, um, you know, you can you can get about two or three in one hand, um, depending how you want to do it. But and all I do is just, just hook it back up. Then back in back and get it here. Do this with one hand. There you go. And just hook it back up, and then you're good to go. Um, another thing is, uh, you can put more than six. Whoa, bud, focus, man, focus. Alright, another thing you can do is you can put more than six on. Um, 
I found that six is the best for the size of the clamp. That's just the preference that I have. But um, my with my shells, I have about like damn there are 20 of them on on one. So it's just it's easier because of the shells. And I have all of my stakes sitting sitting along the side there. Um, that's basically it. Um, basic. All I have is just my blind with a bungee cord, so that you know it doesn't move all over the place. Because this is a pain in the ass when you're driving down the street and this thing just goes all over the place. And it happened to me all the time, and it, it, I just don't want to deal with it again. So all I have is just bungee cord, bungee corded to the side of the wall here. Like I said, I have all my Canadians all in the center here. Um, there's my lessers. I would do a video on those guys. But, um, yeah, like I said, with the Canadians, you can stack them. You can stack, stack, stack. Uh, that's the nice thing about it, because you can do that. But then I have, I'm trying to think what else I have in here. I have my shells. I have my Raiders. Um, and I do have some hanging off the wall up top here. And all that does is just maximize the space. The biggest thing is with the snow goose and how your trail is set up is maximizing your space because with the snow goose decoys you have hundreds and hundreds of decoys now i know some people use the socks and i mean if you use socks in this you can fit damn the thousands but with the full bodies you want to maximize your space as much as possible but yeah guys it's a pretty short video um just want to show you how my trailer is and I hope you guys take some tips off of this because it does work. It's a very nice method. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. Um, like I said, it's a 6x10 trailer, about 6 foot inside. And it says I have each um, divided section of the snows about uh, 2 feet apart. And that fits six, so they're not all just like bumping and touching each other and shit. I mean, they're bumping, but it's not the fact that I don't have them bumping so that they like push out. I don't want that. Guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna do a review on the GHE full bodies. If you want me to do a review on the TNTs, let me know. Uh, I will do one. And you know what? I might as well just do one because why not? So um, I will do both of those reviews. I'll do the full bodies now. And I have both of these videos posted up in the next two days so that you guys can see them and get ready for the next season because it's coming. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And it helps, helps me a lot. It gives me the motivation to do these videos. And I hope you guys have a good day. See ya.